everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 1 with another Sky Factory Let's Play video. This is the series where I'm doing a blind playthrough of the Sky Factory 1 mod pack. It is a great, great mod pack. Uh, if you are looking for tutorials, though, I've got a second series that is my Sky Factory 101 uh, tutorial video series. So if you're looking for a how to do stuff, that's probably your best place to go. This is more of a, you know, just a quick little playthrough. I, I don't know about quick. We are uh, quite a ways into the, to the pack. This is episode 12, I believe. Last episode, we started setting up our smell tree. I know I was 12 episodes in or 11 episodes in. I was just starting my smell tree then. So uh, it's a little bit rare for me. Usually it's one of the first things that I do, but there's been enough new stuff in this pack that I, I've I've been pretty busy. I've been really, really, really busy. But what we need to do is we need to set ourselves up a smell tree controller. And I, yes, because this is the 1.16 uh, Tinker's Construct, we've got a different way of making the, the smell tree than we have in previous packs. So we need to start with the seared melter. That's what I got over here. Uh, that is going to get us the where is it seared drain copper and seared bricks and then the seared brain brain seared drain is it not the seared drain how do we make the controller the controller is oh just the seared heater uh with molten copper poured over it four ingots of it so that's not too bad and actually snag that snag that because we're going to want to hold on to these for when we actually do that. So I need, do I have wood on me? I got enough wood for another tinker's table here. Perfect. We'll do two crafting slabs. So I've got one later on. So we'll throw one right here and we need to make ourselves the heater. Actually, we'll just go in here, here. Oh, I'm missing bricks. That's what I'm missing. All right. So it's controller, heater heater oh the other thing i'm gonna need is a casting basin we can just do that one manually there and if i had a little bit more glass would be nice well you know i'm gonna automatically feed lava into the seared fuel tank i think yeah so i should i should be able to get away with just one of them but you know what it might be nice to have a like a fuel gauge or one of the windows to kind of see inside of there. So let's go just quickly make a couple pieces of glass. Oh, are we short on the tin? Right. Because let's go grab a couple tin pieces. This doesn't do a full thing. I don't know, actually know why I threw that in there. So how much is that going to get me of tin? Throw that in there. Okay, perfect. That worked out. And let's go do a quick little nap. I can't remember the last time I slept. Last thing I wanted is some phantoms uh, surprising me again. All right, so let's go and we're going to replace that with the casting basin. Seared melter into the casting basin. And then it said we needed two, we needed four. So that's going to be three copper chunks because each one gives us... Uh, one ingot and three nuggets in the melter, which is really kind of an awkward uh, number, but it means we get four ingots out of three chunks. Uh, if that makes sense, we're going to pour that in there. That's going to turn us into a seared heater. Oh, we also need some seared drains. All right, so seared drain, two copper, and then four. So I'm going to snag you. Flick it back here with that on. And then we got three copper. That's going to get us the four ingots we need. And then while that is going. Oh, right. Let's go grab that glass. All right. Seared glass. We'll just go all four there. And I keep running away from here before I need to. So that's 14, 18. I'm definitely going to need more. I'm definitely going to need more seared bricks. Let's put it right here in this this corner or over here in this corner. Let's put it over here in this corner. That might be for the best. And then around the corners. Where do you want my front? Let's put my front right here. 
Oh, controller's over there. So controller... I don't know why it's showing a block right there. I, I know it's not complete yet. Uh, let's... I wish we had the carry mod. That would be so cool. Did you get picked up? You did. You got picked up here. So we're going to put the lava right here. Just sort of out of the way. To... There we go. And then we can kind of see in there. So this should be a fully working one. It's. It, I want to definitely make some more. Actually, out of curiosity, using the grout and the casting table, one ingot. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it makes a difference if we make it in here or not. Oh, why didn't you guys go into the... Oh, okay, one second. We got to steal you. Oh, wait, no, it's already molten. I shouldn't have to. There we go. Okay, perfect. We're going to go throw that one back. Oh, you know what I didn't... No, we got to make that up on the, the next level, I think. So we're definitely going to need some more seared bricks. And I don't think you're going to break if I break you. All right, so what we can put here... Uh-oh. Oh, I'm so dumb. I didn't actually make the seared drain. I made the copper for it. I didn't actually make the seared drain. Okay, we're going to have to go back here. Snag that. And actually, I'm going to redo this whole thing here. Put the heater there. We're going to go make some more grout. How are we doing down here? How come you're, you're out of power? Oh, you know what? I noticed this when I was editing. This didn't actually make the connection. It's connected to that. So one thing I was thinking is that this can't pull off of the battery. We need a electrical pipe to pull off of the battery. Do I have, there we go. All right, so this is my wireless energy. Well, I was a little disappointed with it and I, it looks like I'm gonna be a little bit more disappointed with it. But if we go here and let's actually put it on top to get it out of the way a bit. Ooh, don't really like the way that's connected. There we go, All right, that should be fine. It should be fine because that's an item pipe and it's not an electric pipe. And then we're going to take that wrench, turn you into a power thing. Okay, you are now powered up. There we go. I was hoping to have extra sand in here from uh, the sort of bleed off. And this is something else I got to fix as well. I've, if I pull this over one and then pull out into a chest, I can probably get... Um, Everything going through the... Oh, and you are... We don't want you guys in there. This is the other... And we can keep the flint from getting into the uh, pulverizer there. So that is something. But I came down here for sand and gravel. How much redstone have we got? Only five. I really, really should keep... I should keep this one going. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, don't, not that way. Uh, we want to go this way first. All right, so gravel, sand, there we go, and then dust. There we go, perfect. Oh, and then dust goes through here because we need that redstone. How was my hammer? My hammer's pretty good. Okay, let's do it in here. I got a little bit, well, that makes me nervous. So where have I got the most space? I got a lot of unused space down here. I got a lot of mobs up there. I got to double check my mobs. The other thing is I got to go check the nether out. I figure that as far as armor goes, my best bet is going to be that four stuff. At least, okay, maybe not best bet, but it's something I've never used before. And I'm kind of, kind of interested in giving that armor stuff a shot. So we're going to have to make some force armor sometime in the future, along with force weapons and things like that. They actually look like you can kind of enchant them um, in a odd sort of way. Like it's, it's, you're enchanting them, but you're, you're not enchanting them. Can I, oh, I can't get up there. All right. Break you, break you. And how much does that give me? A stack and a half. I'll do a little bit more.
16. We're going to need 16 clay. 16. Oh, my hammer is almost broken. My hammer is broken. Should make a better one. There we go. Hammer. Perfect. Let's go make some clay. Ooh, my inventory is full. Why do I have this turning handle on? Probably from you, aren't you? Put it right there. Okay, so clay time. Water, dust, clay. All right, so there's my clay. So clay, sand, gravel, Groot. All right, let's throw all of that in there. Let it smelt up. And we got enough for one smeltery controller now, I think. Not controller, uh, drain. All right, we're going to put you... I kind of want it up high. Or do I? I want the collection to be here. Yeah, I want the drain to be on that level. So it's got to be at least one up. Okay, while we're waiting for those, let's go check out those animals. Where's my first jars? Go play some Pokemon. We got another undead horse. And a llama. I think we're pretty sure we got both of you guys already. I, actually, I know for a fact we got both of you guys. We'll put these guys back. Yeah, zombie horse. And llama would have been one of the first things we think we got. Wait, do I have two ocelots? How do I get two ocelots? I don't remember getting a second ocelot. Well, that's disappointing. We, we gotta, we're gonna have to get rid of one of them now. Oh yeah, there's our llama flask right there. All right, let's remove those mobs just because we're gonna get other guys to spawn. Nope, didn't mean to hit your parrot. Wow, that was that was a painful sound. He did not like that one bit. You gonna spit? You gonna spit at me? Ouch! There we go. Oh, we got some leather out of that. All right, let's go throw this back over here. We'll see what else we get uh, spawning in there. All right, how are we doing? Forty-five. That's pretty good. All right, I want another drain, and then we're gonna turn all of you guys into bricks. We got one. Two, there, drain, drain. Actually, I wouldn't mind one more drain. No, you know what? I actually want a space between these. Yeah, I think it'd be better if I have a, a block in between them. I think that'll be fine. We'll throw that there. All right, so that is good. We can go throw you there with a faucet. We're going to have to break you. Lost that. I'm going to break you. You can... Get sucked up by that hopper is really good. Oh, there's that other one. There we go. Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't put the lava in anywhere. Let's take that out. We'll let this empty. All right, I'm good. Once this is done, I'm going to take this down and then we're going to put this off to the side here. So I'm going to need one more hopper, which means I'm going to need more wood. Well, and there's a broken axe. I think this is not a tinker's axe, right? No, that's a tinker's axe. There you go. Okay, so chest, slabby slabs, makes a hopper. And then we're gonna need, we need another chest. I suppose I can just make another half slab chest. They're pretty, they're actually quite nice. All right, so you're all done. Let's break you down. Did I get it all? Nice. Fill you in. Hmm, do I want, let's have it all go into one chest. So actually see, I might actually need one other thing here, but if we put you in there and a hopper on top, let's put the lava back over here where we were talking about it. All right, lava right there. What can I melt? I can melt the seared stuff. So, okay, so this does push it in. That's perfect. That's what we want. And then we could want, let's make one more, one more hopper. And then I really want one more chest. So I can make a double chest. All right, that should be enough wood. Chest, turn the two halves into a full chest. I just thought of a way I could have done it. I could have actually had the chest go this way and the hoppers go in there. Let's do it that way. We'll save this uh, other hopper for something else. 
So we go chest, chest, hopper, hopper, casting table, faucet. Oh, and gold cast. What I want is lever. Did I not pick up? Oh, there's the lever right there. Now I think, where did the lever go? Did I not pick it up or am I blind? Oh, I bet you got, <laughs> got sucked up by one. Like, man, these things, you know, suck from a long distance. Now I think if I, so I actually could have put a third one in there. Not that it really matters. The more of these you got going at once, the better chance you've got of breaking the system. So one and one is going to be pretty good. So this is going to let us make the smeltery really, really big with all that seared brick. That's perfect. And then we can run all of our metals and stuff like that through that as well. So, and now the last thing I got to do is the lava. I got to get, oh boy, that is empty. I want to do this wirelessly. So fluid, is it not a fluid? We go wireless. I am a little disappointed at the, how these things work, but you know what? It's not the end of the world. So I'm going to need six redstone and two quartz and a bunch of sticks, which I don't have on me. So six redstone, two quartz, redstone torches, smooth stone. Oh, there's that crystallized amber. There's those iron bars. I am going to want one GPS card and then six smooth stone. Oh, I should have made two of those. All right, one comparator, two comparators. Fluid transfer node. I lost my bucket, so I got to remember to make some more buckets when I get back up top. Do I have any iron floating around? That's silver. I should make use of. All right, let's go take the fluid transfer node. We're going to have it come off of the singularity tank, I hope. Ah, see, this is not pulling from... We actually got to put it on a pipe, don't we? We need fluid cable. Take the fluid cable fluid and then we'll put the wireless right there take my wrench you don't need an item but you do need wow that sucked up a lot of lava which is okay it's going to catch up because we're not going to burn that much in our smell tree and then gps card we're going to go click you and then put you up there see it sucked it up that should be full of lava now yeah, there we go. All right. So we've got wireless lava to our smeltery, which is nice. It is nice. It's disappointing that we can't have multiple things coming off of this uh, wireless node. But at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. It's still probably better than pipes. Now that I think about it, I was a little disappointed when we first came across it last episode or the episode before that with the power. But I mean, we can make it work. We can make it work. Yeah, we can make it work. All right, so we doesn't leave us much time left for other things. Let's go. Well, here's a question. Have we done any tasks lately? Transmit power wireless. We've done that. Use a click machine item user to automate a sieve. I'm surprised that, that was a long time ago. Using crucibles create an automatically collecting infinite lava farm. I'm going to say yes. Okay, collect five blaze spawners from the nether using a sack of holding. Now, this is something that we really probably want to do because it would be nice to get some blazing blood. And that's something we can actually convert our uh, smeltery into. Sack of holding. What do we need for a sack of holding? Transport a container with its contents. Lava, clay, and string can transport spawners. So leather... Zombie flesh. Okay, so we're going to need leather. There's no easy way of leather. There's no meat way of leather. Don't have any other mobs over here that's going to get us leather. So I'm thinking it might make the most sense. Yeah, we got to make ourselves a mob farm. We've been putting it off and putting it off for the longest time. We can use... What does it say? Oh, we could freeze rotten flesh into leather or redstone furnace rotten flesh into leather. Freezing core, snow cookie with an infuser, snowball into a snow cookie, upgrade core. That's all that force stuff. 
Or do we just build a bigger spawning platform for the animals? What about dirt? What about that fancy passive mob dirt? There we go. Delightful dirt will snow cap at night if exposed. Oh, spawns more creature mobs will snow cap at night if exposed to sky. Light level before t below 10 stops creatures mob spawn. Okay, so actually, that's the way we get snow. <laughs> it's a snow cap at night if it's exposed to sky. That's interesting. Look, night and daylight of exposed to sky. Light level of 10, light level below 10. So we need rotten egg, golden egg. All right, so golden egg, nutritious chicken feed, experience, seeds, wheat, carrots, potatoes, beets. Wheat, carrot, potatoes, beets. Okay, we are good there. All we need is the experience, which means we just need an XP drain. Oh, one second here. What experience is it? Okay, good. The recipe does both. In all the mods 6 to the sky, it was one type, type of experience only. And that was very frustrating because I couldn't figure out a way to convert them. So cyclic or mob grinding utils experience. So if we get an XP drain is mob grinding utils experience. We can do that. Oh, we need Eye of Ender though. What's the other way we can get a cyclic experience bucket? Liquid experience. In the melting, melting. Enchanted books can be melted for experience. All right, we, we need a couple of different things. We need a proper mob spawner. That's what we need. That's number one. But I don't know if I got time for that. <laughs> How much dirt have I got? I got 14 dirt. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We are... We're going to make some shears. Ooh. I... I'm going to make some diamond shears. Oh, can we not make diamond shears? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. There was The shears are, like, limited in this one. Right, so let's just make some iron shears. What we're going to do, we're going to start by expanding our mob farm, mob farm. And basically hope that we can get enough animals there that we can get some leather. I might actually do some breeding. But first off, we're going to need a bunch more uh, dirt. Oh, my shears are broken. Can I repair them? I tried this before, I think. I don't think it worked very well. Oh, you know what? We can... We can recycle the shears, though. Don't think iron mixes with copper, so we're good there. We still get two ingots back. Like, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> oh, he's got the little guy on his head again. That's awesome. Uh oh, this is broken. Something's fallen into this. Don't know what. I think at one time there was a torch that might have fallen into there. All right, so that, we're waiting on that. Okay, while we're waiting on that dirt, let's just go check, make sure this is not overflowing. Look at that, we got a bunch of sand in there. Next episode I gotta fix, well maybe not next episode, sometime in the future I gotta fix this. And what we could do... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's pump sand through there. This will tell us, like, we'll, this will get us uh, all this stuff that... All the stuff that's not already in our storage area is going to get put over in this area over here. And then we can go put it in the proper spot. So, And I should do the same thing with dust. And then at least I'm prepared once I get everything sorted out. Let's right, see how that dirt's going. Only eight, huh? You're going to need a bunch more fences as well. Oh, no, 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 no. What was I doing? What was I doing? What was I doing? Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I absolutely didn't mean to do that. Well, that was embarrassing. Oh, that was even more embarrassing. Holy cow. <laughs> I was jumping up there to see the light levels, and I totally just fell in. Oh, boy. That almost killed me. That almost killed me. That's what happens when I'm when I'm uh, distracted, when I'm like trying to when I'm waiting for stuff. All right, <laughs> let's go get that blood out of there. I'm sure I'm gonna need it for something. One slime ball worth of blood. That actually could come in handy. I think we need a gem cast for it though, right? 
just right under the table, huh? Uh-oh, 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 what's, what's stuck in there? Molten iron. Why have I got two millibuckets of molten iron? Oh, unless they got iron from my blood? Maybe, that's a possibility. Oh, and then it's broken again. All right. Glagulated blood. All right. So that's going to come in handy at some point in the future. Okay. Let's grab that dirt. 22. That's pretty good. That should expand us out a little bit. Hopefully we'll get a couple more passive mobs uh, spawn here. Enough that we can uh, basically, you know, get some more leather. Because we need four more pieces of leather, if I remember correctly. Ooh, do we go one more? Let's go one more. I just need one more piece of dirt and I can make another row there. Oh, I shouldn't have left that. I'm rushing now. There's going to be mobs over here. Oh, did I get lucky? I got lucky. All right. Oh, perfect. All we need is one more torch, which I don't. I just need a piece of coal. I need a piece of coal. I need a piece of coal. All right, torch. All right, so hopefully we're going to get some more mob spawn in there. Next episode, I'm making a proper mob spawner. And we'll eventually have to upgrade it using the dreadful dirt and all of that. Then we can make the bag of holding. We can go to the nether. We can get those blaze spawners. We set up a blaze farm over here. Actually, we'll go through a bit more in here. And yeah, so we'll have a little bit of stuff going on there. But I think that's going to be it for this one, guys. This was, I, I don't know, I, I felt a little bit scrambled, this one. Uh, but we did get quite a bit done. We got our smell tree up and running, which is good. We expanded our mob farm over there. We did wireless uh, liquid lava to our smell tree, which is really, really nice. Uh, that makes things, you know, really, really easy. And it's not that tough. Once, but now that we got the amber, it's not that tough for us to actually do that liquid um, or that, that that wireless transfer nodes and stuff like that. It's a little disappointing. We're going to do one per, but it's not the end of the world. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, though. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. If you did, please think about leaving a like and a subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. Also, check out the description below. There will be a link to my Discord page. I would love it if you guys stopped by to say hi, as well to be linked to my Patreon page. If you enjoy this channel, if you enjoy this content you want to support, stop by, check it out. There are a lot of great perks out there for all of my supporters. But that is it. I'll see you guys next time. Good bye.